Hi everyone, my name is Parthasarthi. V.S. Parthasarthi is how I go by. What happened was Srikanth from Express Computer was with me and he asked me, can you talk about some subjects to the CIOs and to our audience? And I was more than delighted to do so. So what we are going to do is to kind of have a series of conversations. I'll start off with this conversation and maybe I'll get a lot of input from you and it'll be a two-way street. I speak, you give me some feedback and some comments, some, some questions and we can have this continued dialogue over a period of time. I have done a vast set of uh, businesses, functions, etc. And I was a CIO for a couple of decades and that is the experience and some worldly experience is what I bring to you. So let's start with today's subject. Today's subject is how do we bring innovation to the sea suit? A very heavy topic. So, so let me make it light. All you have to do is each one of us in the sea suit becomes innovative and automatically innovation will come to sea suit. Very easy, isn't it? So let's see how we can do that. The first step is, as Stephen Covey says, says that the personal victory comes and then the public victory comes. So if you want to bring innovation to the organization and therefore to the C-suit, you got to start with yourself. How do you make innovation a part of your arsenal and a part of your own work at an organization? That's the first question you have to ask. I say simple is devote some time for it. And when you devote that time, one of the things you have to notice is that you have to say 30%, 20% of the time you will do to devote to new things, to innovative things, to things that you do. So at the end of the year or is the end of the semester, first step back and see whether you have done any innovation things. That's your first steps. Have a personal victory. The next step that you can do is you can say, how do I create a corporate garage culture? What is a corporate garage culture? Can you tell people, I'm going to encourage people to think outside the box and to do some innovative projects. For that, I'm going to give you a garage. So what does a garage mean? I'm going to give you some space, some time, and not too much money. Yeah, so maybe very, very paltry, you can go for an excursion, you go and check out an organization, that kind of money, not big. And when you do this, what you can do is to make people think that the organization and the C-suits values innovation, wants to create a clear bifurcation or a clear mandate in the organization for innovation. So that's the second step, simple, create corporate garage. And that's how Microsoft became that big, that's how Facebook became that big, everything. Every big organization had a corporate garage culture, starting with it. Now we need to make that in our organization so we can go to the next big orbit. So that is the second step, third step. So if you say what cannot be measured cannot be improved, set an innovation target. Simple. Set a target that I want due to innovative practices 20% of my top line coming over next three years. It may sound ambitious and sometimes it may sound even foolish. But you know that people who dare dream become that heroes or that inspiration for others. So don't worry about looking like a fool. It will be others who will be fools if they don't do this. So set innovation target, maybe smaller than 20% if you like, but I like that 20%. Unless you have 20% impact, it will not be big in the organization. So do that, set yourself, tell people that it will be very good for them to act on it. There is a bottom line impact, top line impact, and therefore the organization can devote time on this. So third step, set targets and make that target a matter of priority in the C-suit. The fourth one, don't waste too much time and bring an outside-in approach. 
why an outside in approach and what is outside in the key way to look at any innovation is first is let your people feel that they have the length and breadth the space to innovate second thing is if you say innovate and they don't know what else to talk to what else to compare with how others do you'll find that it will kind of fade but if you use the outside in to bolster it will be fantastic what is outside in view tell your organization tell the c suite let's go and get some startups to work with us let's you know go and work with some of the people to come in to our organization and give us insights help us with innovation i had about 10 odd companies in mahindra which i would collaborate with finance and accounts and they would give new ideas we would give ideas to them too and that's the fun and therefore we can cre co-create new things in the organization a 50 year bond for example was a big innovation that we did in mahindra never done before not done since but this kind of innovation can come so can irona a digital resource who is the best investor uh, funds investor in mahindra so all this will come if you bring in outside in and have a corporate garage so you have all four you have first is you set the tone personally you got a corporate garage culture in third you set an innovation target fourth you said outside in i got in all of this will help you achieve this kind of things but there is one small hitch in all this how do speak people speak to each other um and i'll give you an example of what i mean by this let's for a minute assume that we assemble one person from each state that we have in the country and then we will put all them together and say you all work together they will find difficult to converse with each other understand each other because they are all speaking different languages that's the same thing with organization they all speak different language so we need to find one thing which connects all of them and common language for them that common language could be anything from design thinking could be uh, leadership through quality should be quality japanic japan quality it could be malcolm balbridge yeah business excellence processes it could be six sigma but choose one common language in the company and when people speak they will say hey innovation means this and if you follow this simple six step process that my experience has taught me i'm sure you will create as an it head as a cio as it function you will help the organization set the tone at the top and create a you know innovation culture which will which will be resonating which will resound in the entire organization and you of course can be the prime donor that's for today's episode and i hope you like it please please do feedback please give feedback please comment please critique please add because all the innovation on this one also doesn't rest with me it rests with all of us we can add and we can make this even better as we go along so long i'll see you in the next episode but do not forget to give feedback comments inputs thank you